Hey guys, Gustavo Batista here. Today I did some transition that I, I like to do when I, I'm past and I hope you guys enjoy. Yes guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and let us know what you want to know from Batista. He's going to be teaching some classes here. Us. Us. Alright guys, uh, we're going to start from here, okay? Uh, when the guy put the hoops here. Uh, I'm going to choose one side to walk here and at the same time I'm going to push his leg down here. Like that, okay? And now I'm going to work in and free my left leg. I have two options here to, to free my leg. I can do the wishy wipe, okay? And I can take my leg back. So, uh, before I take my leg back, I need to turn my body a little bit more to this side, okay? Like that. And I can take my leg back here. Okay, uh, I prefer just take my leg back in this situation. Okay, when the guy have his back flat on the mat, I like more doing the wish wipe. Okay, but when I when I walk to one side, I like to do that. Put my my right leg behind his leg here, and now I don't stay face for Jonathan here. I, I face a little bit more to this side and use my hip like that, okay? And I use my hand on his collar, I can push his, his body down, okay? Now I'm gonna first take my leg back and now from here I keep this pressure, okay? Pinch my, my knees together and now I'm gonna change my legs. I'm gonna take my leg back again and now I'm gonna switch my legs and right after I'm gonna use my right knee in his hip here okay so when he try hip escape I'm gonna keep walking together with his body here and now I go through the leg drag and I can pass okay so again I'm gonna choose one side to walk and at the same time, I'm gonna push his leg down, like that, and use my knee behind his leg, like that, you see? Now, I take my leg, stay here, okay? Now, change my legs, use my right knee in his hips, okay? And now, grabbing his collar and hug his, his head okay this is gonna be the first one and after we're gonna work in different things okay again to this side any questions one more time okay Jonathan's gonna be with the hooks here. We we don't don't gonna take the hook here, okay? We're gonna walk, make Jonathan's to one side, okay? And use this grip in his collar, this grip on his knee. Now I'm gonna take my leg, okay? And now change my legs and go to le the leg drag. Why I like to, to walk this side to after I take my leg and don't just take my leg here because when I, I like to use this position to make Jonathan be sideways, okay? Because from here when I take my leg it's hard for Jonathan put the lasso or hip escape because I'm, I'm heavy on top of his leg. If I just take my leg here Jonathan is gonna play the lasso and gonna start doing a nice grip, you know? So I always like when I move, you know, when I move to the side and Jonathan can, can uh, control again, I'm in this position here. I like to do that a lot. And now, can change. Okay? 
Uh, how do you prevent your opponent from attacking single leg X when you're starting? Like there is anything you're doing special? Yeah, pr probably when when I'm walking, he can try lift me uh, to put in the single leg X. I like use this knee and now I'm I'm gonna use my, my hand on the mat, you know, to to make my balance. And when when he try, I'm gonna use my 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 foot inside here you see and i use a lot this knee behind his leg to be heavy here you see he almost can go to the single leg x but i'm heavy when he try super hard i'm gonna post my my leg inside again and now i have the time to go to the knee cut you know i do that a lot because all the time when I do that, the guy gonna try lift me, and I'm gonna use my my hand on the bed. Now I feel I can put my my foot inside. If I feel he he have a, the the hook in my my chin like that, I use my other foot here to kick and put my my foot inside. From here I can. Go to the side smash, we're gonna work after, you know. But now, we're gonna take my leg back, sweep my legs, use the, the knee on his hip. I really like this because if, if I stay too far, I feel Jonathan can open his knee and hip escape, and I'm gonna lose the leg drag. So, use the knee on his hip, and now, I pass my arm in front of his leg, like that, and now I'm gonna hug his head. You see, I'm more to this side. Don't, don't stay like that, because it's gonna be more hard to take my leg back. I'm good that. I use my hip on his leg. Now take. Yeah. When he try lift me up, I'm gonna use my my hands on the mat. I'm gonna see for my my leg. And now I can do the same thing. You guys can can work that do, do just the position and sometimes the guy try lift you guys up and you guys circle your leg and, and do the, the technique. Okay? On the first technique, the hand that's on the collar, is that you trying to pin him down with it or just gripping? Yeah, I make the grip and just to post, you know, I don't, I don't need uh, pull him, but I don't, I don't give the the space to Jonathan try, you know, on the hook me. I was just to to push and stay Jonathan's back on the mat, like that. Okay, guys, let's try. We're gonna do three and three, okay? One, two, three. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys want to learn more about the techniques that you learned today at Atos headquarters, you guys can go to atosbjjonline.com. Gustavo Batista is the champ, he's amazing, and he showed a technique that he usually uses a lot against me, you know, <laughs> and works really well. Amazing technique. Enjoy, guys. Awesome. Awesome.